No, I don't know. It wouldn't be a tree. Right folks, there's the common. I've put a little stone on the top. The family. Family and friends. And all the family are like my kids, grandkids. I want them to get better, healing their minds and bodies. Right out there we've got Hinkley Point. We've got people building a tunnel under the water, believe it or not. Where, the, where you see them big ang cranes out in the water, that's where they've, there's an underwater thing there that drags in water to help cool the, the nuclear reactor when it's, when, it, when it's finished. It's not finished yet, it's not active at all at the moment, that one. There's a young couple down there on that route. I reckon what they've done they might have missed this completely and gone down that way. I'm going to go down. I'm going down. Anyway, they've got their way ahead of me now, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go back down to the lower garden. And there's a few, somebody down there as well that I can see at a junction. So here it is. This is the Quantock Hills, what you see. Hillfort's beyond now. And uh, I'm just going to go back down and join the lower hair in that for a minute. And then eventually I'll probably either go that way. I don't know if I've been over the top there before. Not sure if I have or not. Like I said, I'm keeping it rolling because I know the moment I turn it off this time it's going to want to go to sleep, the camera. So I want to get this bit done because this is absolutely gorgeous here. This is uh, what I come out for. And I also know my sister Judy used to love this place so much. So much she's got her ashes up here somewhere. And I know she would have loved these combs more than anything. More than any old car park. St. Richard III. I'm not going back exactly joining up with the comb. Um, I can see something lagging now. I don't know what that is. Now, if I had my normal eyesight, I'd be able to pick out what that is lying in the path. Could be two people. Now, some people do lay little stones every now and again. Um, Jill used to crack them when she came by. If one had moved, she'd put it back in. She knew where the stones belong. Look at that there. Look at that lovely view there. Of that hill over there, look. They're gorgeous. It's above um, Hodder's Coombe. That is. Possibility I've been down that. <laughs> Possibility. The thing is, it with the different seasons, it does change with the colours. It can look different, believe it or not. You think, now is that the same as what it was six months ago? Is that the same place? Well, I am really, really pleased with ach achieving what I've done today. Doing a little bit of exploring 
risking that crocum bit and oh, I don't know just exploring really now I normally go around there but I think I might go across there just to see I haven't done it before there is room for maneuver today like that lots and lots of sheep sheltering under the trees Right, I'm just going to turn off the video for a minute, folks. Even though it's absolutely gorgeous, I need to take some photos. I had a bit of a scare then. I went far down. I've been up to the carn on the top. Just making my way, just fortunately, just a little way. And uh, I just noticed I got to a little tree near the top, but enough down to make you think, oh God, where's my hat? I take my hat off to do a photo. It must have dropped down, so I had to go. I had to climb back up. It was only a matter of minutes. I found it, but oh dear! Facing that way, it was really hot as well. Downsbury Hill Fort. I'm going up here. I don't know if I don't normally come up this way. I don't think. I know I don't. I normally follow the track round, but I thought oh, I'm gonna. I think I'll come up here and see what's up here. Great views. Very, very open though, isn't it? And bold. Up here. Like I said, I've got time for a little bit of maneuverability. Really glad I did that extra two hour earlier start. Really glad. All the deer would be sheltering down in the coombs, I would have thought day like this. This is right in the heart of the Quantox here. Yeah. This is right in the heart, folks. We're leading up from higher hair nap and lower hair nap. The path to lower hair nap came around there. I just cut across just to go and do a little bit of the corn as I passed. I put a little stone on there for the family, my kids, my grandkids, wishing them happiness and health mainly. Happiness and health is so important. Now I don't know whether I've ever done this top bit, but I probably have. Um, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to come out. I Most of the time I do the lower track and go around the corner. It's a great view in it. Lovely, it's not over hot. I think if it's 25 degrees, that's just right for me. I love it. But I am thinking, seriously, of coming back over to my net. I gotta remember though, if I say Wednesday and Thursday night, I've got to come back Friday before the strike. I think the strike's on all weekend. I don't want to stay over here that long. So, I might even go tomorrow. I'm just going to see. I'm going to see what happens. You know, I don't think I have been up down this way, but I don't know why I wouldn't have come through this way as well. When I always go around that way. I don't know. Let me take some pictures. I don't know if I can see deer on the top of the hill over there. I'm not sure. Now at one point my eyes were absolutely sharp. Sharp as a hawk. But like I said, these last couple months I've been doing a lot of computer work, mind. They don't pick up like they used to on the sharp, on the humps. And, you know, one time I was been sharp in on that. I'm still picking it up, but I was really good at picking out deer. I'll be going up down through this coombe and all the way up round up up there towards Wecombe. Now for all I know three hours could have gone by. What happens? You look like you've got loads of time and then suddenly it's one o'clock. It's two o'clock. And I'm just enjoying this every minute of this and I'm going down this way. It seems a big it's going downhill. 
has got to be going somewhere. Probably joins up with that other path. I just can't believe I've not done this particular track before. Hello little sheepies, having a good time under there? Under the old holy tree? I'm glad I got my hat. I'll tell you what, when I didn't have my hat on, just for those few moments, I felt the sun really intense on my head. It was really, really heavy. I hope I just... The cat didn't pick a tick up though. I didn't check it. I didn't check it. It didn't take long for them to bloody get in your head. This might come out in the wood. It might peter out. Then I'll have to find my way to the other track. Boy. Don't get up. Don't be silly. Now come on. Don't be silly. That's it. You'll be on the video. See? You'll be on the video. Is that cool? It's not. It's nice not knowing quite where you're coming out. I've got a bit of an idea. I might be coming out in Hodder's Coombe, you know. And I might have done it a long time ago this way. I just got that feeling. There's going to be a path that zooms round, and I. I mean, I'll be halfway up Hodder's Coombe, which means I've then got to go walk up to Holford for the benches. See what I mean? I don't, that's why I don't normally come this way, probably. So it means I've got to backtrack. I reckon that's what's happening. This is going to take me down. Better not peter out. I ain't walking through no ferns. This is where the deer often shelter on hot days like this, you know. They'll be in the ferns, literally. I was out with the grandkids once, and um, Daisy and Amber, and one just sprang out of the ferns in front of us. Oh, it's getting narrower. Look at that plant there. I wonder what that's called again. With those red berries on. I've got a feeling the main track's probably only just over there, but I'm not gonna I'm not going through the ferns. We're on we're committed now to going down this way. It won't hurt to do some exploring. Might even join up with that path, might not. I reckon it will. I got a feeling there were other tracks coming off. Nice bit of shade here, isn't it? Nice bit of shade. We've been in the heart of the Quantox today. What I call the heart, really. This walk I've done coming up through the middle path through there I bet that leads to the main path as well we're follow on down now now I don't like going downhill it always puts pressure on my knee it puts pressure on the knee better than going up though isn't it <laughs> it could peter out yet it really could Holford Green's going to be down there somewhere. I still get a feeling we're going to link up with that other track. Something just tells me we will. This is well used enough for it to be walkable. 
you see what I mean? The ones that are overgrown with people aren't bothering with them. Right then folks, I'll just turn off for a bit of this and take some more photos.